Hello everyone, this is Rahul Malhotra from SFDC Stop and welcome to another video tutorial for SFDX Deploy tool for Windows, right? So in the last tutorial, what we did, we actually undeployed some metadata uh, into our destination org, which is PlayfulBear org, okay? Uh, but uh, in real-time scenarios, it happens when we are deploying from, let's say, uh, a sandbox to a UAT environment or a UAT uh, to a production environment, it happens that... Uh, uh, we need to change some metadata or we need to make some minor changes before we can deploy because of some errors or some issues, right? So in this video, we are going to learn how we can very easily make the changes in the metadata and we can deploy that again and again using SFDX deploy tool. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, this is the SFDX deploy tool that I just downloaded from the GitHub repository. And uh, I have already set up my uh, source org and destination org in the previous tutorials. So if you want to have a look at that, you can just check out the previous tutorials. And this is the package.xml that we were using um, to fetch the metadata from the source org. So we actually fetched these four classes, which is temperature converter, temperature converter test, lead processor and lead processor test from our source org, right? Uh, as you can see uh, here also, if I go to metadata folder and if I go to unpackage.zip, uh, here I can show you that uh, I have my four classes present, which is lead processor, lead processor test, temperature converter and temperature converter test, right? So these four classes are present uh, as a part of SFDX deploy tool and uh, I've, I'm, I'm now going to make some changes in these four classes and then I'm going to deploy these four classes into my destination org which is playful beer org right so right now we can see that we don't have any classes named as lead processor or lead processor test also we don't have any classes named as temperature converter or temperature converter test and the total number of apex classes that are present in my org is 79 right so we are going to make some changes in these four classes and we are going to deploy this uh, to our destination org so let's begin uh, the first thing that we need to do is to open sfdx deploy tool by clicking on uh, this uh, sfdx deploy tool.bat file so just double click this and uh, i'm going to move on to uh, vs code where i can show you what's happening behind the scenes so here you can see that uh, uh, i mean i have already fetched metadata from the source org and i have an unpacket.zip file that is present in my main folder right in the metadata folder itself and uh, what I need to do to make some changes in these classes, I first need to extract this zip file, right? So either you can manually extract this zip file or you can use SFDX deploy tool also to extract this zip file. So I'm just going to choose this option in the SFDX deploy tool, which says extract the first metadata. So what this option will do, it will automatically extract the zip file that I just downloaded. So I'm going to click on two or press two and I'm going to press enter, right? So it will use PowerShell to extract the zip file and here we can see that a new folder is automatically created with the same name which is known as unpackaged and I have a message here which says metadata extracted successfully and is available in the folder metadata slash unpackaged folder right press any key to continue we can just press any key to continue and I'm going to just uh, uh, close this SFDX deploy tool for now and uh, so that we can make our changes so in inside this unpackaged folder I have my classes folder where I have four classes lead processor lead processor test temperature converter and temperature converter test class right so what we need to do now we actually need to perform uh, some changes in lead processor and lead processor test as well as temperature converter and temperature converter test so let's make some small changes in these four classes. The first thing that I need to do, uh, I'm just going to add some comments in these four classes. So let's say uh, lead processor description. Okay, and uh, I'm also going to add a comment in my lead processor test class. So this is the comment which is lead processor test description, right? And I'm going to add a comment in the temperature converter test class as well. And uh, the comment is, let's say, temperature converter test, oh, sorry, temperature converter description, right? And I'm also going to add a comment in temperature converter test class. So let's move ahead and add a comment here as well. And the comment is temperature converter test description okay 
So what I did, I actually uh, using SFDX deploy tool, I actually extracted this metadata, which is which was presented as a file into a normal folder, and uh, I actually updated these four classes so that I can, I mean, I can make any kind of changes before deployment. So I just updated these four classes by adding their comments. So in the lead processor class also, I added a comment. In the lead processor test class also, I added a comment. In the temperature converter test, sorry, class also I added a comment and in the temperature converter test class also I added one comment, right? So I'm just going to close these files now as uh, they are ready for deployment. And now the next thing that we need to do is to deploy these four files in our destination org. So let's move on to our destination org and go to deployment status page. So here we can see that we have about uh, uh, five to six deployments that are already there. Uh, so I'm just going to deploy our extracted metadata that I have updated, right? So what we need to do for that, we need to just go to SFDX deploy tool and uh, I'm just going to open browser as well as SFDX deploy tool side by side so that we can see the changes. And here you can see that we have an option which says validate extract extracted metadata in the destination org, right? So in the earlier tutorials, we actually use validate metadata in the destination org or deploy metadata in the destination org. But now we are going to use this particular command which says validate extracted metadata in the destination org because we have made some changes and we want to validate the metadata which is already extracted uh, from the zip file, right? So I'm just going to choose this fifth option and I'm going to press enter. So here you can see that it is running a SFDX MD API deploy command and it is actually uh, deploying the metadata or validating the extracted metadata in the destination org, right? So let's see uh, whether, mal okay, so here we have an option, sorry, message which says that metadata validated successfully in the destination org. So if I just refresh my deployment status page, here I can see that uh, I have a validation which is successfully done. And if I just go to details, I can see here that my four components are validated successfully. Okay, so now what I need to do, I can just press any key to continue and I need to deploy the extracted metadata in the destination org, right? So in order to deploy the metadata, you just need to click on or press six and you need to press enter, right? So what it will do, it will automatically deploy the extracted metadata in the destination org. So here you can see the deployment ID and you can also copy this if you want. And you can see behind the scenes that the deployment is going ahead. And uh, now the deployment is succeeded uh, in my org. And here I can see the message that the metadata is successfully deployed in the destination org. As well as I, if I check out the uh, deployment ID that I copied, I can see that it is the same ID, right? So the four Apex classes that I just extracted and updated are now deployed successfully in the destination org. So let's check out uh, whether our deployment is done or not. Uh, earlier I had 79 classes. So right now I should have four more classes and it is total 83, right? And uh, if I just refresh these pages, I can see here that I have my temperature converter and temperature converter test class. Also, I have my lead processor and lead processor test class, right? So I'm just going to open these classes in new tabs and I'll see if I have the comments that I added or not, right? So I'm just going to open the temperature converter and temperature converter test class as well. And here I can see that in my lead processor class, I have the comment that I added after, after extracting it from the source org. In the lead processor test class also, I have the comment that I added, right? In our temperature converter class also, I have a comment that I added and uh, in our temperature converter test class also, I have a comment that I added, right? So uh, in this tutorial, what we got to know, we got to know that how we can actually fetch metadata from the, uh, I mean, how we can actually extract the metadata, which is already there with us and how we can validate or deploy the extracted metadata in the destination org using SFDX deploy tool. So if you want to have a look at the SFDX deploy tool, you can just go to my GitHub repository, which is github.com slash Rahul Malotla slash SFDX deploy tool. And you can directly download this SFDX deploy tool as a zip file. And there's a great documentation over here, which says, I mean, which uh, actually specifies how you can set up this deploy tool. Otherwise you can just watch my two previous videos using which I have I mean, in which I have already shown you how you can fetch the metadata from the source org and deploy metadata in the destination org and all that stuff. So that's all for these uh, SFDX deploy tool tutorials. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Um, till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.